What's going on, y'all? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. Let me go ahead and preface this video. Y'all know I'm very much DIY, do it yourself, build a website, put all of your assets on the website, create the link, create your own link in bio. I showed you guys how I did that a while back. I'm not gonna change that, right? But I know a lot of my artists out there, a lot of my creators, Y'all don't really have the budget to maintain a website on a monthly level, especially for the amount of drive space that you're going to need. If you're consistently putting out products, if you're consistently doing courses and trying to get video uploads directly through your website, all of that type of stuff, you might end up spending out $60, $70, $100 a month maintaining a website. I know y'all don't really want to do that. So the next best thing, take that link tree out your bio, man. They're not giving you enough stats. They're not giving you enough features, man. Do away with it. All right, the next best thing is gonna be getting with Koji. I'm gonna break down Koji top to bottom today, and this is gonna be free game for all my creative people out there. Y'all gonna really wish you learned about this sooner. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull up the Koji website. That's with Koji.com, spelled K-O-J-I, and you're gonna see Supercharge Your Link in Bio. Koji is the world's most powerful link in bio with hundreds of free apps to customize and monetize. Keyword, free apps. They show you some of the feature creators that they have utilized in the Koji uh, link in bio and all that good stuff. All that is great. Now y'all know my platform is music based, so we're gonna get right to Koji for musicians, right? Hundreds of powerful mini apps take your link in bio to the main stage. No coding, no website to maintain. Start promoting your music in minutes. So one of the things that you get as a musician on Koji is a love jar. This is allowing people to send donations to you, right? So if somebody just sees that you have really great content and they wanna support you with a one-time payment, they can send you a dollar, five dollars ten dollars whatever the amount is that's on their heart they give you that pledge and it goes directly to you the next feature that they have available some of y'all out there use cameo some of y'all are actually buying cameos from artists popular celebrities you know getting birthday shout outs and stuff like that well you could put yourself on the other side of the game, right? Because now they have shout out, which is monetized, personalized video requests from your supporters, right? You're a leader in your own community. You're a thought leader. You're somebody who's important to other people's family and friends, right? So different types of shout outs, whether it be birthdays, somebody might need a video drop for something they're working on, whatever, whatever. And you like, hey man, I need to be commissioned for my time. Pay me for a shout out. Hit the shout out link in my bio. Boom. Say what they want. They pay you for it. You do the quick shout out, you good to go. In the example, you see request a happy birthday message, a song, or just a happy message to send some love. Request video, $150. Cha-ching, easy work. The next app that they have available for you is called Fun My Project. Y'all already know about this. Kickstarter, Indiegogo, GoFundMe, all of those different crowdfunding websites out there. You got to sign up. They have these different terms and conditions. You may or may not like it. They have their guidelines on who and where you can accept the money from. You might not like all of that. Boom. Koji has a Fund My Project app, which lets your followers help you bring your next project to life. So your next album, your next music video, short film, all of those things. You can say, hey, man, I need some help putting this together. All my supporters band together. Donate what you can and we're going to get there. Of course, you can also have all of your music links in one place. This is one of those hurdles, right? For all of us out there distributing music through DistroKid, you know, they have that hyper follow page, which gives you a page for each song that you release. How many people actually click on those hyper follow links, man? I know I don't. I don't even like how they look. It doesn't have that shimmer to it that I be liking. You know what I mean? In order to subsidize this and try to get a better looking page for that, I've been using Song Whip for quite some time. You basically just plug your link in there and it generates it for all of the platforms. It creates a page. Very nice. Koji has that for you. Now, they got some other powerful features here. They also have locked audio, right? You can sell exclusive sounds, music, podcasts, and more. This is where we're getting a little bit more advanced with the features here, man. With this locked audio, you could literally have exclusive songs that nobody could get from anywhere else behind a paywall. You can sell it for a dollar, sell it for five dollars. You know what I mean? We're taking the game back, man. We got to get people back into the conditioning of, hey, if you want a product from me, pay for it. You ain't got to pay for everything I drop, but if I drop a sample or a preview of it and you like it and you want to get it, why would you not pay for it, man? I be out here buying a lot of artists' music. Sometimes I don't even go back and listen to it. But guess what? I supported them and helped them get food for their family, food for their self. If I buy your project for $15, that helps you eat, blah, blah, blah. But then the goodwill of, man, I saw when that person bought my stuff. I dropped something 
I might sell some. I might not even charge 15. I might drop it for 10. I might charge 750. You like, you know what, man? He bought my album for 15. I'm going to get this project for 750. Boom. And that same goodwill continues to go throughout the community. But then not only does it have to be music, you can have special podcasts. You can record an exclusive podcast around your album release. Have all the contributors to the album come be a guest on your podcast. Talk about the process of the album. You know what I'm saying? Your producers, your writers, all of those people, engineers, anybody that was involved, get their opinion uh, talk about the highs and lows of the creation process and put it behind a paywall. Drop it for $10. For all my loop makers, my sample makers out there, Locked Audio, all my artists, some of y'all been sleeping on doing vocal packs. That's something that I got coming soon. I'm going to I'm gonna have to stop playing. But you could literally do vocal packs and drop them and let other people sample you and make money off of it. And these are just some of the features that are available to you. You can get even more advanced with this Koji theme, man. And as of now, they're still relatively new, but they are fast growing, all right? They already have 300,000 plus creators. Your visuals, your way. Incorporate your latest music videos with fully custom video backgrounds, buttons, and fonts. Completely customize your Koji profile to fit your brand, right? That's what we really want. We want it to look like something that we would make, not just some generic thing that's put together and you got to choose from four backgrounds and it's like out of the four which is the one that i hate the least right music not code no more dealing with multiple complex websites coding or upfront costs manage and edit all your apps directly from any mobile device saving you time and letting you focus on what you love not to mention as you can see here they have a koji pay wallet so all the money that gets exchanged in the koji app it accumulates in the Koji wallet and you can withdraw the funds. You can save your cards. This is basically like a business account all in one spot for you. Real talk. Bring your fans closer with interactive content and experiences. Create meaningful connections by letting your supporters participate in your content. Host and ask me anything. Let supporters submit photos and videos to challenges and more. So now... You can let people participate in what you got going on and you can actually post the people that are participating in your challenge on your Koji so people can see, oh man, here's social proof that people are really taking part in this challenge, right? Host to ask me anything. Folks can ask you questions. You know, y'all be doing it in your story, but here's a way to actually keep track of it. You know what I mean? So it doesn't just disappear after you do it. You also have the ability to do your own giveaways within the Koji app, right? Easily create and manage giveaways and contests using the giveaway app. You can have fans enter by streaming, following, and more. Then you can use the app to select a random winner. So for all of us that are out here creating like cool shit, right? And be, we be wanting to do giveaways, but we don't be fine. We don't be knowing like the swaggy way to do it. Own your audience. This is another thing I talk about quite a bit. Don't rely on your social following to contact your supporters. Build your email list directly in your link in bio to take your contacts anywhere you go. You can literally build your mailing list in the Koji app. This takes away the need for some of those other apps that you got to pay for, the MailChimps, the other places. They'll give you a free tier, but once you hit a certain threshold of people, they're going to want more money from you. If you want to send out multiple uh, emails per month, depending on how many emails you're trying to send out, they're going to charge you. Koji has it for you. Spot trends in real time, data and analytics. Oh man, this is one of the key things right here. Integrate data analytic tools into your apps to better understand your fans. Koji apps support Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, TikTok Pixel, and more. So, so now all of the traffic that's going through social media and all of this stuff, Facebook, Google, TikTok. Now you're getting those analytics through your Koji app. So now you can see what people are engaging with the most. You can see what content people are engaging with the most and do and double down on that, create a product around that, create a, a movement around that. And it all feeds each other. Using Linktree, I used to hate the fact it's like, bro, why are y'all just giving me seven days of information? How am I going to create something for myself with seven days of information. What am I supposed to screenshot every seven days so I can have a yearly report? It's some BS. But as you can see, they have the week, the month, the year, your views, your revenue, your unique views, the average session time, how much time people actually spend when they hit your Koji link. 
This is the type of information that you would generally only get from your website. To take this even further, y'all know not only am I just an artist, but I have two books out called The Pen Game Portfolio and The Pen Game Portfolio Volume 2. So selling digital products is one of the things that I do, right? You can also sell your digital products through Koji. And here's just a short list of the things that you can do. When it comes to digital products, it's really up to your own creativity on what it is that you want to sell. But here's some ideas. Guides, printables, courses, Canva templates, images and videos, social media prompts, audio books, ebooks, notion templates, LUTs and Lightroom presets, sound effects and sample packs, images and videos, PLR articles, InDesign palettes, stock photos, 3D models, Instagram story templates, spreadsheet templates, Google Doc templates, copywriting templates, whatever your skill set is, there's different digital products that coincide and correlate with them. And it's up to you to create them. It's up to you to have the confidence. And even if you're not confident about it, have some fuckitism about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And be like, you know what? I'm going to just try it. I'm going to put this out and see what people do. I'm going to see if they go and get it. Let me see if I know how to brand myself. You know what I'm saying? You'll be surprised how much of an expert you really are. It's something that people already see it in you, but you don't see it in yourself. So you're afraid to take that step and just release it to the world. I'm telling you, man, just do it. Build a brand, not just another funnel. Build a deeper relationship with your customers by hosting your storefront directly on your social accounts. Harness the power of content, notifications, likes, and comments to build your brand. I've sold over 500 copies of the Pen Game Portfolio series just on my website. So if Koji can help elevate that, this would be crazy. And if you already have websites or if you already have other platforms that you've been trying to test out selling things, you can incorporate those into the Koji experience, right? So they have Shopify, you know what I'm saying, integration, Gumroad, Kajabi, Printful, Amazon Publishing, Motion Array, Padia, Envato, Sellfy, Sales. So all of these different platforms that are around, available online, you can incorporate them into the Koji. And now you're getting it hosted all in one spot, man. This is an easy way to make some extra money and it doesn't clutter your timeline. It doesn't give you links upon links upon links upon links for people to be going to because it's succinctly done and it's integrated. It's not just, uh, you know, a lot of times we have to create buttons and have them lead to one place and, go, you know what I mean? It's a hassle. Now I can sit here and talk all day about Koji, break down more stuff for their website. But for real, I would say go to withkoji.com. Check out the website for yourself. It is free. And they're setting up different systems that will allow you to make extra money as a content creator. Another thing I want to say for all the content creators out there, you might want to stop looking at yourself just as that. If you're shooting videos, doing written content, finding ways to make all of that come together, you're actually a media company. You're actually more than just a content creator, which is exactly why a lot of these big brands are going to content creators because they're basically saying, well, if we hire a media company to do this, we're going to have to pay them X amount of dollars from a budget. But if we go to a content creator, they're going to typically pay that person less than they would for a media company. But you're really effectively a media company that's servicing people on a daily basis. If you're creating daily content, daily videos, daily uh, posts, motivation, all of that type of stuff, you're actually a media entity. You're like a complex. You may not have the same type of content as them, but you are in the same arena. So the goal for 2023, play on a bigger field, bro. Let's stop playing small. Let's stop just seeing a bare minimum and being like, well, if I could just reach that, I could get it by. Nah, let's play on a bigger scale, man. I'm challenging myself to do the same. I want to see y'all do the same. And I want to see more elevation so that we all could get what's out there for us. You feel me? Go ahead and let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. And if this is your first time seeing me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for post notifications and updates. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right? Much love and respect, y'all. Peace.